Alright, now here's one. Everybody gonna tell me, oh, I knew that. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. This is the truth between the beef between Herbie Azor and Tupac Shakur. Now, when this whole melee broke down, um, and it's not even a melee. Let me just say, uh, let me clarify that better. Disagreement. You know, it's a lot of things that was done that a lot of people would look at and say, oh, well, they used to date, so he jealous of Tupac. But let me tell you who Herbie Azor is for a lot of you younger people out there. If you remember Kid and Play, when Salt and Pepper first started, Kwame, all of these acts in the early 90s, late 80s, Herbie Azor was that guy. He wrote songs for Jody Watley. He knows how to produce uh, and direct videos. He's probably doing a movie or directing a video as we speak. The man is very influential in all of these areas. Now, with Salt and Pepper's career at this time, he was like basically writing all of the the songs and the lyrics. Um, as other writers, and then he started getting other acts, he started to deviate from Salt and Pepper and start letting them work with other writers and other producers that he trusted them to work with. Now, he used to date Salt. Like, they used to be a couple. And, you know, it's breaking up, fighting, and arguing, and all of this stuff was not good going to be going forward and business-wise. And he even knew that this is something that's got to end because... If I don't end it, I can end up damaging the group Salt and Pepper. So instead of keeping masking his feelings to do something, you know, he it was broken off. And when it was broke off, Salt wasn't, you know, she really cared about the guy. So it, it was a struggling process, and then you guys still have to work together. You know, so it, it made it a little harder, you know, to transition you know there's weight gains and then when you got to do video shoots and things like this and you got to be at a certain weight, and you don't have time to get in shape you know she was suffering from bulimia and at times from making herself throw up so she wouldn't gain weight you know it was a, a lot of stuff and stress going on at that time and then she had gotten pregnant um, during the uh, video shoot I mean, doing the making of the third album, Black Magic, and they were doing Let's Talk About Sex. Um, during that time frame, I think, it was, yeah, right around that time frame is when Pepper started dating Tretch, and Tretch, homeboys, Tupac. So, Tupac and Tretch, uh, you know, Tretch introduced Salt to him, and they had already met before, you know, but they never really met, met, and... Tupac was working on his album strictly for my niggas, and so he just happened to be in California, and Tretch is down there doing this, and they just all happened to be in California at this time. Like Pac was spending most of his time on the East Coast because he was uh, filming a movie. Uh, what was it? I think he was filming Above the Rim or something. But he was filming a movie at that time. So Tretch and they, they all hooked up and they hanging out and he gets to talking to Saul and she sees a different side to him. You know, and he was like, man, I did a song called Keep Your Head Up. Now, it's not known that he wrote the song about Saul when they were just having conversations and he put it out there. But he didn't title her name to the song, but he dedicated it to her daughter to let her know, like, it's it's for you, but I'm not going to put that in there for you. I'll just say dedicate it to your daughter and give her a shout out on the song. But he was talking about like Salt and her situations and other women in general and made a song for them to keep their head up. And he really liked Salt. Like a lot of people don't know that. Tupac really liked Salt. But Herbie. His issues with Tupac wasn't the fact that he was jealous that Tupac was with Salt. His issue was the fact that here's this guy, his image. We just got, you know, this um, avocation to do. Let's talk about AIDS, you know, for the kids. And that's going to open up a whole new door if we start. And, you know, his music is too controversial, what he calls dangerous. 
Her, he's like, well, his music is a little dangerous. Tretch, he didn't mind. Tretch music, he didn't feel Tretch music as dangerous. You know, with Naughty by Nature. And they had just, com like, finished completing their album. Because all three of them were working on albums. That was crazy. And all three of them had smash albums that year. You know, they won Grammys and everything. Tupac was there, but Herbie at one time wanted to manage Tupac Shakur. Like, early on. And Pac was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'll I think about it. But he didn't end up doing it. And at this point, Tupac was like, I wouldn't say he was, you know, broke. He had that, I think he still had that little apartment. But in like the end of 93, he gave it up. And most of his stuff was at friend's house. And he was just living from hotel to hotel at this time. So... The What A Man, he was going to make a video for What A Man. Shoot came out, it did great and all this. And Pac, at the same time, was back in Cali, hanging out with Tretch, and they was talking about the video. They had an actor that was going to be in the video for Salt already. Tretch was going to be in the video with Pepper. That was already discussed when they did What A Man. So, Herbie, who co-wrote the song, you know, Cheryl wanted to lend some lyric changes at the end, or on her last verse, she wanted to write it, and had somebody else do the writing for her last verse. Like, she has, like, two verses on the song, and that extra verse she put on there wasn't originally in the song. <laughs> and it was funny, because it was like her giving him a shout back, shout out back for doing Keep Your Head Up. And you know, it it was it was cool. I I got it, but Herbie didn't like the fact that Tupac was gonna be in the video in the bed with Salt. That was an issue. So they made a big fuss about it. Herbie didn't want to do it. Pac was like, Man, I'll beat this bitch up. Herbie's not a gangster. He's not no he's Haitian, but he's not violent, he's not a gangster, he's not any of that. Herbie wanted no parts of any physical confrontations with Tupac. Tupac does blow up and da, 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 this and that. And everybody's laughing, but he was just making fun of Herbie. You know, what for a new name, Herbie? Herbie! And this is real name! <laughs> Herbie! Who named somebody Herbie? <laughs> so, you know, he was clowning him. So Pac is like, dude, we doing it or oh, there ain't no video. So, they put, they filmed Tupac in there, but what they did was, the agreement was, they they blocked out Tupac's face. You know, the way they shot it, they blocked out Tupac's face, and you can't tell it's Tupac. Because Herbie's trying to explain to them, this guy is dangerous. Putting him in the video is not going to help you, it's going to hinder you. Or bring you downwards. You know, he was just not happy with the What of Man video shoot. And it was problems with money, contracts still going. They were trying to find a way to get out their deal. So Pac was like, I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get you out your deal. I'm going to get you out. I'm going to get you away from her. Herbie wasn't doing that. Yeah, he, see, he making all the money. He, he got way too much control. I'm going to get you. Wait, I'm going to get my own label. We're going to get all over. Hey, hey, Bruce. We're going to get all over. So. Pac was loud like that, so he was talking about getting a label back then. We all gonna get on him, me, you, Trash. At this time, Herbie is really good friends. He's very connected in the music industry, but he was very tied into with uh, Jimmy Henchman as far as like the business side and the element, and both of them being Haitian, and they all were at the Haitian Awards. Uh, Tupac at that time was hanging out with Haitian Jack back in New York. So, in New York, Herbie already like, didn't have a good, you know, word or good feeling about Tupac. Jimmy Henchman could really care less. Haitian Jack is like they guy. And Haitian Jack hangs out more with Jimmy than anybody. Herbie just know him from business-wise. So, a lot of people early on were saying, Herbie orchestrated Tupac getting shot. I heard that for about like a half a day. 
He had nothing to do. None of this had any tie-ins uh, to the to the Quad City shootings. Okay, he just knew Jimmy Hinchman because they both were Haitians. They both met up at the Haitians awards, and when they would see each other, it was just brotherly love. Herbie Azor and Haitian Jack, that y'all call him, never were related. They never were buddies. He never told him to get Tupac. None of that.